Okay, so now that you know how to find subjects and verbs, let's do some practice. In each sentence, circle the subject and underline the verb. There's a note here that crossing out prepositional phrases will help you to find the correct subject and verb. Let's start with number one. Outside the office, a loud argument began. What's the subject of this sentence? Some people might say, the office, because it looks like a noun and it's towards the beginning of the sentence. But did you catch the first word of the sentence, outside? Outside is a preposition, so that means the office is part of the prepositional phrase. So that's not. We would cross that out, okay? That's not the subject. So let's look at the next part. A loud argument began. I know which one, uh, out of these three words, a loud argument, which one is the noun? It's argument. So we want to go ahead and circle argument. Okay? That means that began is a verb. The verb is began, like started, past tense of begin. Okay? Next sentence. The book at the top of the shelves was impossible for Madison to reach. Okay, so if you said the subject was shelves, you need to look a little bit earlier in the sentence. Okay, shelves is a noun, but it's also part of a prepositional phrase with of. So that's not, um, that is also not the subject of a sentence. Could it be top? No, because at the top is also a prepositional phrase. So the subject of this sentence is the book or book. Okay, what's the verb? Was impossible for Madison to reach. The verb is was. Okay, was is a, is a be verb. Um, and impossible is an adjective, so we wouldn't want to underline that if we were underlining um, part of the, if we were underlining the verb. We would just want to underline was. Okay, sentence three. The sound of the truck's air horn caused the pedestrian to leap quickly out of the way. Okay, is horn the subject of this sentence? No, it, it's not the subject of the sentence. This whole part of the truck's air horn starts with of, so it's a prepositional phrase, not the subject of a sentence. So in this case, the subject of the sentence is sound. Okay? Many people would say for the verb, they would say leap. Okay? But you notice that leap has two before it. So that can't be the main verb. The main verb never starts with two. So to leap is is an infinitive. It's part of the sentence, but it's not the it's not the main verb in the sentence. The verb in the sentence is caused. Okay, the pedestrian to leap quickly out of the way. In the morning, a cup of freshly brewed coffee and a bowl of oatmeal start my day. Okay, I'm sure by now you know that in is a preposition. So in the morning is a prepositional phrase, and none of that would be part of the subject, okay? Many people would look here and say, coffee, coffee has to be the subject. Make sure to check before the subject to see if there's anything. And here we have of freshly brewed coffee, another prepositional phrase. So we know that cup is the subject, but actually cup is only part of the subject because here we have a compound subject, two subjects. So we have and a bowl of oatmeal. So, is the other subject oatmeal? Nope. Oatmeal is part of the prepositional phrase of oatmeal. Okay? So, the other part of the subject is bowl. Okay? So, cup and bowl are the subjects of this sentence. And what's the verb? The verb is start. Okay? The professor's first exam had been recovered from the defective hard drive. Many people will look at this and say, Professor. professor. Professor has to be the subject of this sentence. What's the problem with that? Professor, what does the apostrophe S on the end of professor mean? The apostrophe S means that something is possessive. So it's actually acting like an adjective describing a noun. So the professor, it's not that the professor was recovered from the hard drive. No, it's the exam, okay? Prof so professors is acting like an adjective. It's a possessive. It just describes the relationship of professor to exam. So the actual subject of the sentence is exam. Okay? So here we had had been recovered. One mistake I sometimes see student make is they just get recovered, okay, as the verb. But actually because had been are is part of the verb, it's it's um, part of the 
verb tense, right? It's telling us that it's passive, that, that it's receiving the action, and it's telling us that it happened before. So we say, so all of this together the, is part of the verb. The professor's exam had been recovered. All three of these are part of the verb, okay? So to get that right on a quiz, you would need to get all three parts of this verb, okay? Let's see, number six. The dog dashed across the yard and returned with the frisbee in his mouth. Let's, if we start with the, with the subject um, and we look at dog, okay, do we see anything before it? Do we see any prepositions? Do we see anything else that it could be? No, we don't, okay. Um, so in this case, dog, we can go ahead and mark that dog is the subject of the sentence, okay. Uh, Dashed is a verb. It means ran quickly, okay? Um, and this is actually a complex compound verb. It has two verbs. So what's the other part of the verb? Returned. Okay? Turning to the assembled fans, the singer blew a kiss and boarded the plane, okay? This part with turning, we did learn that a gerund, a verb with ing, can be a subject, but that's not what's happening in this part. This is... Um, uh, participial phrase, okay, and it's starting the sentence. So this part cannot be the subject of a sentence. In fact, the subject of this sentence is singer. And again, we have a compound verb, okay, blue and boarded. Okay, what's the subject in number eight? After several hours, Alexis became tired of sitting at the computer. We know it can't be hours because that's part of the prepositional phrase with after. Okay, so here in this sentence, the subject is going to be Alexis, someone's name. Okay, many people make the mistake of marking sitting as a verb. Okay, why can't sitting be the verb in this sentence? Because an ing word, it, it can... Sitting can only be a main verb if we say like is sitting, are sitting, was sitting, were sitting, something with to be, okay? But that, it, it's not the verb in this case. The verb is actually became, okay, a linking verb. Number nine, on Monday morning, there were over 300 applicants waiting to apply for jobs at the factory. So, can our subject be in this phrase? No, because it's a prepositional phrase. There were over 300 applicants. Hopefully you remember the rule. There is not a subject. There never acts as a subject. In sentences with there are, there was, there were, things like that, the subject is after the verb. So what is the subject going to be? Can it be 300? No. 300 is describing a noun. It's not a noun. Okay. So applicants, applicants means people who applied is the subject. Many people make the mistake of marking the verb waiting. Okay, again, an ing word, an ing verb with no helping verb cannot be the main verb in a sentence. And in fact, whenever we have a sentence with there was, there were, there is, there are, that be verb that's part of there, after there is going to be the verb. So applicants were. Okay, that, so that one follows a little bit of different rules. Finally, we have a question in number 10, and this does have different sort of rules as well. Okay, why did Johnson scream so loudly during the funniest part of the film? Okay, so what could the subject be in this sentence? In this sentence, somebody might mark film, okay, but we have of the film, so we know that's a prepositional phrase, can't be the subject. During the funniest part. Can part be the subject? No, because it's also part of a prepositional phrase. Finally, we have uh, a choice of Johnson. Johnson, okay? So Johnson can be the subject of a sentence, which is someone's name. So what's the verb? Okay, it's clear that scream is the verb. Can you catch what's the other part of the verb? Hopefully you got it. It's did. Okay, remember that an auxiliary verb like did, do, have, has is part of the main verb. We need the did to show us that this happened in the past. Okay, so did and scream are both required parts of the verb.